So guess what? I got a puppy! Hey guys, it's Shira and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very exciting video for you guys. It's been a little while. It's actually been like a week since I got him. Camille. Oh, don't try to act out for the video. So, I got a puppy. Chico, look. Look, boy. Look. Okay, so I got a little Yorkie. He keeps trying to bite me. Let me get a toy. That's what we're learning right now. <laughs> Here. Here. Say hi. Say hi. He just woke up from a nap, so he's like super excited. So I'm going to put him down because he, he's going crazy. I'm going to show you guys a little bit more of him when he calms down. He just woke up, so usually when he wakes up, he is super excited and has a lot of energy. So, um, yeah, so I got a Yorkie puppy. He's going, he's about, I think he's about like eight weeks now. We've had him for a week, so we got him when he was seven weeks. Oh my God, he's trying to bite my feet. So, funny story, when me and my boyfriend, we were planning, well, I really wanted to get this puppy. Um, he didn't really mind. He kind of wants a bigger dog. But he loves Chico now. Oh, yeah, his name is Chico. Um, Chico, stop. No. No. Boy, here. Get your toy. You bite your toy, not my hand. So Chico is eight weeks old. We had a little situation when we first got him. Um, we saw that he was scratching, and I gave him his first bath, and I seen a little, I seen a little brown bug, and I was like... I didn't know what it was. I never had a dog before. So I looked it up and it ended up being like a tick, I think. I mean a flea, not a tick. So it ended up being a flea and we went to the vet and try and got him checked out and everything. And then the vet said they didn't see any fleas. So I was like, what can I do to prevent them? Blah, blah, blah. And they were like, oh, I don't think you need to spend money on that. Like he doesn't have them, blah, blah, blah. So I, get, I had to give him uh, one more bath. And my boyfriend seen fleas. So we ended up just wash. Since he was so young, we ended up just washing him with like Dawn soap. And then got a little flea comb. And we found like four of them. So we got him from like the LA area. So down there they do have fleas. But where I live, they say fleas don't live very long out here. Because it's too dry where we live. So he's still itching a little bit. I didn't want to give him another bath. Because he's still very young. And I didn't want him, I don't know, to like... You're not supposed to give them too many baths. It's not good for them. So, he's like acting crazy. So I'm going to wait till next week to give him another bath. Ah, ah! Right here. We're trying to potty train. So he was about to poop on my floor, but we have a pad right here. And I had to move him. So one second, because then I'll have to go pick up some poop. Um, before I was rudely interrupted. And he keeps biting me too. She caught the bit. Hey, hey, you better calm down. Hey, go over there. Here. <laughs> he doesn't even act like this. What? He is acting extra crazy. He took a good two hour nap, that's why. Oh my goodness. Okay, anyways, so people think caring for a puppy is super easy. Or, I don't know if you think smaller dogs are easier than bigger dogs, but he has a lot. <laughs> he has lots of energy, and he's like a little baby right now. So, he wakes up every. When we first got him, he woke up like every two hours. So, that was a little challenge. Well, in the beginning, I was able to wake up, but now I feel like I don't hear him. He's like very quiet when he wakes up. So, and we're trying to get him to potty train because right now he's still like pooping and he'll pee on the mat sometimes, but he's still like, if he's wandering around, he will pee on the floor. So we're trying to get him out of that because I ain't trying to have him poop and pee everywhere, especially because we have a cat too. So we don't want them to be like pooping and peeing all over the floor and making the house smell. Here. So right now, too, he's like teething and he wants to chew everything. So he's chewing your hands, chewing your feet. I do want to get him out of that habit. So every time he does start chewing my feet, I try to get 
try to give him a toy to chew on instead to like let him know like you're supposed to chew this and not my feet. And right now that's what he's doing. Chico, stop it. Literally getting one of these dogs is like having a little baby almost. But it's good to, um, he sleeps a lot so he usually is awake. Chico. He's usually awake and he gets super excited like this. Look at this little ball of energy. Look at him trying to bite my hands. Chico, look. Look. Right here. Chico, look. Look at this. Ooh, hi, baby. Oh, he almost jiggled out of my hand. It's so crazy how you get attached to these little things. So, me and my boyfriend, we just got him a week ago. And then the weekend, we were going to go to Vegas. Like, we already had this plan. So, we weren't sure we were going to get him that soon. We went to Vegas and my mom and my sister puppy sat for me, so I was so grateful that they were able to babysit, especially because he's like a little baby. So he does have to be watched every, like, all the time. Like, he has to be watched 24-7, otherwise he's going to be chewing up something, he's going to be pooping or peeing somewhere. Like, you just have to watch what he's doing. So I'm so grateful that they watched him for me, and me and my boyfriend, we like missed him so much. It was only, we were only gone for about two day, or two nights and three days. So, yeah, when we came back, we, like, came straight to him. And he was super excited, so that was really nice. Um, so getting one of these dogs is a lot of responsibility. And, yeah, I want to trade it for the world. I love my puppy. He is so cute. Hi, Chico. Sometimes he likes to be sweet, and then sometimes he's obviously biting, but he is a puppy, so he's learning. But he does like to lay and cuddle with you. Here, get this. I think he's biting me because I put mango lotion on my hand so he could taste it or he could smell it. Oh yeah, so we ended up buying him a little playpen before I left. We have that in the living room. So it's like a pretty decent size. So you could just put his bed, some toys, his bathroom, and then his food and water. And in there, he would actually poop and pee on the little pad. He hasn't, I haven't seen him poop or pee on something else when he's in there little baby so he's learning we're going to teach him some tricks I want to teach him how to sit and like lay down and stuff like kind of the basic stuff first so yeah I'm going to also train him to be in the playpen when I'm at work so I work from 9 to 2 so I don't work a very long shift but um yeah I'm gonna train him to stay in the playpen while I'm there because he pees and then there's his water and everything there he'll stay in that little area and I know where he's at so yeah, and we're still trying to introduce my cat to him. My cat is used to being like by himself, so he's not used to having like an another animal in the house. So he's very protective and we have to watch them together until they get used to each other. But Chico is not phased by him. He will chase him. My cat is kind of fat, like he is real fat. Uh, well, it's not even my cat, it's like my sister's cat or my mom's cat, I don't know. A family cat, I guess. So Chico, he's little and he will run towards the cat and chase him and my cat is like really, he's really scared of things. So he'll run but he'll hiss. So I'm scared he's gonna, one day he's going to kind of like backflash and just like, I don't know, attack him. So I don't know, I've been keeping an eye out for them when they're next to each other. Yeah, I've been wanting these one of these dogs for so long but I never thought I would get one because they are like super, super expensive. We got him for a really good deal. My boyfriend's cousin knew a girl that was selling them and she like always sold them, I guess. Like her um, dogs always um, breeded and stuff. So she didn't sell them for that much and I'm so grateful I was able to get one. I was going to get a girl but um, the girls were already sold out fast. So the litter ended up having two girls and four boys and I got to choose my dog first because I got I'm the one that picked up first so there was obviously the smallest one of the litter it was a boy I always thought the smallest one of the litter like is the what do you call it I don't know the one that like gets sick faster but I guess that's not true so I ended up getting like one of the thicker ones he actually chose us so we walked in, obviously all these dogs look exactly the same, so it was a really hard decision and I was trying to like play with him. And Chico, my dog, he was sitting like right in front of us and I would pet him and then I was trying to like touch other dogs to see like which one I was going to choose. But he was just chilling by, chilling by me and my boyfriend and I was like, 
I guess he's like choosing us like maybe we should just take this one and I was all telling my boyfriend like which one should we get it's really hard because they all look the same so yeah he was very like quiet and stuff when we first got him and now he is so comfortable he's just jumping off the walls he's so crazy but he's very chill too so like when he's tired he will lay down next to you um, I do take him on car rides sometimes Chico to transfer we go to my boyfriend's house we sleep at my boyfriend's house and then during the day he's over at my house so everything works out he has his first shots and then uh, we're going at the end of the month to get his second sh pair of shots I don't know what they are but second pair of shots so yeah once he gets his third sh like his third round of shots he will be able to like go outside and go on walks and stuff so right now he's like indoors um, I, I don't expect him to be an outside dog. I'm going to probably train him to go to the bathroom inside. Just because I've heard stories of, like, birds grabbing dogs. He's so little that, like, birds can grab him. Yeah, our backyards are all dirt, so I don't expect him to be outside. Like, I don't want him to be an outside dog. And I've never had a dog before, so I was researching, especially the brand, I mean the brand, the breed Yorkies, because I heard Yorkies are very sensitive to certain things. So right now he's just eating puppy chow because that's what the girl was feeding him when I first got him. So I was thinking about maybe getting him more of a nutritional food. We'll see. Because right now he's liking this one. He's eating it fine. Here you go. And I also read they're able to eat blueberries and strawberries as like treats. So I've been giving him as I've been giving to him as treats. Not all the time, but when he pees on the mat or something, I will give him one or a piece of a strawberry. You know. Not a whole strawberry because he's so little. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, look at him. Look at him. Be good. You just. Thank you. Oh, you see, he's being all lovey dovey, but he has bite. Ow, don't bite me. You don't bite, okay? You be nice. No. Chico Bean. I've been calling him Chico Bean. I don't know why. It just came out. And yeah, I think that's basically it. I mean, I'm still learning. I do want him. Well, I do want to get him like a good shampoo because of his hair and his skin. I think his skin is like super itchy. I don't know if he still has like a little bit of fleas or if it's just his skin like super dry. So next week I am gonna give him another bath to see like what's going on with that. See if there's any more bugs or if it's um, just like dry skin or something. Like his skin is just itchy. So I know they have shampoos for that. So, yeah, my little Chico Bean, he's healthy. He weighs, he's only two pounds when we took him to the vet. So he's super tiny. Like, in the picture, I do have an Instagram for him. So in those pictures, I feel like he looks bigger than what he actually is. Like, he's actually, like, super tiny and he's super light. That's basically it. I just wanted to introduce you to, introduce you to my little puppy, my little Chico Bean. Even though he's being bad right now, he doesn't like the camera, obviously. Okay, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to try to get, like, other videos of him so you can see his body. See if he'll let me. <laughs> what are you doing? He's trying to get on the bed. You don't bite me. So yeah, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And let me know in the comments below what is your favorite breed of dog. Mine was a Yorkie or a Labradoodle. Those are so cute. So yeah, let me know you guys' favorite breed in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.